Hey everyone, how are you? It's Drop here. I hope you had a great weekend and having a great week. It is the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo right now at Art Core. And we are here today because, well, not for the expo, I've already checked it out, but uh, we're here because we're going to be going to do some mining. So uh, this is a great, I think this would be a great tutorial for a lot of newcomers to the game if they're looking for something enjoyable to do to make a little extra money and get used to some of the game dynamics. So uh, here's what I suggest you do. If you're a new player and uh, you've been trying out some delivery missions and you've saved up a little bit, what I would recommend doing is come on over to ArtCore. We're in the Tiza Spaceport right now. So as soon as you land at ArtCore, you're going to come down the elevators and you're basically going to walk into this room. Now, if you come over here where it says Traveler Rentals, there's a little kiosk here. And if you go here and click on it, you'll notice that just if you scroll down a tiny little bit, there's this ship right here, the Prospector. This is a light mining ship. It's just a tiny little mining ship. You can fit, uh, you can mine with this, extract with this. But the nice thing about it, and the reason why I like taking this out, is because you can scan for both materials that you can uh, mine in the ship itself, but you can also scan for... Uh, mineables that you can do by hand and the nice thing about doing it this way is you can actually get two kinds of mining done at once just kind of maximizing your profits a little bit with the prospector so I've rented this ship it's 41,000 uh, AUEC to rent and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it out to one of the moons here around our core and we're gonna do some mining so let's go out to our ship I've already pulled it out it's at hangar one so I'll see you when we get out of atmosphere and we'll go from there Okay, we just got out of Arcor, uh, Core's atmosphere, which is, I think, like 80,000, roughly. So now that we're out of the atmosphere, we're going to go to our star map, and we're going to head to a moon around Arcor called Lyria. This is a really good moon to go to for mining. Um, the reason why is because you can actually do the mining here, and the nice thing about uh, going to Lyria is that you don't actually have to leave the moon to sell the product that you've mined. You can actually sell it right here at Leverage Mineral Reserve. So after you've gone around, like I like to get to Lyria and then um, Quantum to Leverage and then kind of mine around Leverage and then select Leverage again as a destination and sell there. It's a really, really efficient way to do it instead of mining on a moon and then having to travel somewhere else uh, in order to sell it. You, it's kind of like a one-stop shop. So uh, let's, let's go to Lyria. All right, now that we've arrived at uh, Lyria... We're going to be uh, looking for this location here, Loveridge Mineral Reserve. We're going to quantum here, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, now that we're here, uh, it's important to know real quick, before we get too deep into this tutorial, one thing that's really important is that you have to make sure you have these two things before you come, uh, before you even rent the prospector. Um, I totally forgot about this. I don't know how I did, but I did. So one thing you're going to want to do first is uh, if you go to your utility panel under Character Customization or Equipment Manager, uh, you're going to want to purchase this guy here. It's called a Pyro RYT Multi-Tool. And this is basically the hand mining tool. But in order to do hand mining, you're going to need to get this attachment called the Orbit Mining Attachment. Now, if you notice, I actually have uh, one in use, and I also have one available to me, as well as the Orbit. I have one in use and one available to me. Now, there's a, a reason why I do this. Um, I've had this happened to me a few times where sometimes when you're mining the rock tends to blow up a little bit and it can injure you so it can also destroy your gun I've actually had my gun glitch out and be I don't know if it was destroyed or if it just bugged out but I always bring an extra multi-tool with me with an orbit just just on the off chance that something glitches out or there's a bug and you lose that that multi-tool the other thing you want to bring with you is medical pens because when those rocks explode after you're done mining them they can injure you and you don't want to stay injured so it's important to make sure that you have two med pens equipped or however many you can equip on your person and then have some extra just on case i always pick up med pens wherever i go somewhere a few at a time so i've, I've built up like uh, quite a few but um if you have a rock that injures you, I'll show you later when we start mining, but you can actually just uh, med pen back to full health. So that's kind of nice. But make sure that you have those two things. And one more quick thing is if you go to Armor Torso, um, there's this thing right here called the MacFlex Rucksack Core. And it's this yellow thing with a backpack. And this actually gives you um, storage, 12... Uh, I guess storage points or storage units. So it, it'll allow you to actually fill up that, that backpack full of minerals as you're mining. 
And uh, you're going to want one of these. I think you can get it at both Port Olisar, at um, the at, or somewhere at Lorville, as well as Grimhex, uh, Levski on Delamar, and I think Artcore. So any of the major cities that actually have like armor you can buy this. Maybe not Grim Hacks, I can't remember, but um, yeah, I, I think, I'm pretty sure Port Olisar is pretty reliable. They, they sell it. So if you go to PO and, uh, or wherever you happen to wake up, Hurston's, um, Art Core, pick up a rucksack. This is also a really important thing. So you've got your multi-tool with the orbit and your uh, rucksack backpack. And after that, pick up your prospector and you're good to go. So it's a little bit of a process, but once you have those things, you're going to be able to make some pretty good money. And it's kind of fun too, you know, it's not, it's not so boring. It's a good time. You can come with friends and you can both mine. It's just, it's just good all around. So, um, we'll save this. We'll keep our rucksack on us. Okay. So now back to uh, leverage. So we're, we, we quantum to leverage. Now what you want to do when you're in the prospector is hit tab, and this is going to bring up your scanner. So the scanner is the big, big white circles. And hold right click until you see that bar get up to 100%, and then you can let go. And that's going to send out like a burst, and that's going to uh, scan the area around you. So if you scan and you don't see anything, just kind of get a little bit lower. Set your speed maybe to like the red line maximum because the prospector is kind of a heavy ship and you're going to kind of coast. So you want to just keep that speed nice and low to ensure that you don't, you know, of course, crash into anything that you don't want to crash into. Okay, we're a little bit closer to the ground, so let's bring up our scanner again. Press tab, hold right click, let right click go, and then boom, right there, already, all of a sudden. You see these little diamond shaped, uh, little diamond icons? That's a, that's a hand mining mineral, right? Now, if I were to, there was another one that popped up. If we, now we're here, if we scan again, there's another one right there, right there. So right on the other side of that little mountain, about 2000 meters away, there's another one, but that one was like a square box. So that tells me that that one over there is, is more likely a, a mineable for the actual prospector ship. But we're going to go down and we're going to do some hand mining first. So let's go down here. The nice thing about keeping your scanner open is uh, as you get closer to these minerals, let's just rescan and bring them back up. There they are. You can see them. There's three, there's three uh, nodes here. So the nice thing about that is you can get right up close. And what you're going to do is press M on your keyboard. M as in Michael. And that's going to scan. That's going to tell you what it is. You don't actually have to get out of your ship and, and check with the hand mining tool. It'll tell you. This, these three nodes are all hadonite. Hadonite is a good mineral. It's one of the higher pain minerals that you can mine by hand. So this is why I like doing this with the prospector is it gives you both best of both worlds. Uh, you can mine with the ship or you can mine by hand. You just land the prospector, get out of the ship, mine it. It throws the minerals in your backpack and then you can get back in your prospector and be on your way. I prefer uh, mining on the planet side rather than caves um, for a few reasons. Uh, reason number one being when you're mining in a cave, you have to climb up and then you have to ascend and descend through the caves. And there's been kind of a weird bug lately where like you could actually break your legs by climbing and there's just a little bit of risk involved. It doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes it does happen and it makes it way more risky to go to caves to do mining. Not only that, but a lot of times like players who are more, <laughs> I want to say griefing in a way, will sometimes just want to blow up other players' ships. Um, maybe they want to test out their guns or they're just, you know, pirates, right? Uh, and they'll, they'll actually go to caves and just blow up ships. So uh, it's much safer to do it this way. You can be anywhere on the moon. No one's really going to find you as easy. Um, I'm just, I'm looking up here slowly. There we go. And the other reason why I don't like mining in caves is because um, when you, after you're finished mining a rock, it, it'll break off into these little pebbles that you can kind of pick up, right? These little gems or whatever. So a lot of times in caves, those gems will scatter and you won't be able to pick them up because they've kind of clipped into the walls of the cave a little bit. And it just makes it like way less efficient. You know what I mean? Not to mention once you've uh, mined the entire cave, 
it takes time for those minerals to respawn. The nice thing about coming to Lyria and doing it moonside, like on the planet surface, is you can go straight down. You can just keep searching and scanning for these minerals, and you don't really have to worry about running out. So you can just keep going and going and going, which makes it a far more efficient and safer way to, uh, to do this mining. So we've landed, so let's uh, get out of our ship. Our rocks are right in front of us, so we won't get lost trying to find them. So um, now that we're outside of our ship, we have these... Oh, here's our here's our mineables right here. These are those three rocks we scanned from in the, in the prospector. So I believe it's four to bring out your... Four on the keyboard to bring out your mining tool. And we're just going to mine these three rocks. So first things first is uh, right-click, and that's going to scan the rock. You see the scanner go up on the right side. And once that's complete, you'll have bars on the left side. You got the red zone, this tiny little thin green zone right here. Oh, I can't hold F to show inner thought. But yeah, right right on the left-hand side, you see it. So uh, what you want to do now is left-click, and that's going to engage your laser with your orbit mining attachment installed on it. And then on the actual back of the gun itself, you've got battery, and then you've got laser power. So... Um, the battery is infinite, so you don't ever have to worry about the battery running out. But the mining laser, you want to scroll up with your mouse wheel to increase the power. And then obviously scroll down to decrease the power. So we're going to bring up the power until on the left-hand side we see an arrow rise. So we're at about 90% power and that arrow is coming up. Really slowly. You can even increase it more. But what I suggest is as soon as that arrow starts to get to the green zone, start reducing your power because it's going to spike really quick and it'll catch you off guard. You want to keep the mining laser arrow in the green zone. You don't want to go in the red zone because it risks overheating the rock, thus exploding, thus uh, potentially hurting you or killing you som sometimes. So what we'll do is, holy, you notice that these uh, uh, weird, like, blocked-shaped graphical issues <laughs> hopefully that's not a problem okay we're in the green zone so let's reduce our power i like to go right down to 50 percent or lower just to ensure that the it doesn't go into the red zone now as it gets below the green you might have to increase power or if it gets too high decrease power on your gun so just kind of stay within that green zone it's a little bit of a game kind of a little bit of a gamble there we go so that's it that's how you mine one rock and now there's two, two ways that you can pick up these rocks. Uh, you can hold F and click stow, or you can just uh, look at the rock you want to pick up and double tap F. And that's just going to pick up the rocks. So these are all little bits of hadonite. Just pick all of them up. You're just throwing them right in your backpack. All right, so that's one rock down. So I'm just going to skip through. I'm just going to mine these other two rocks, and then we'll get back in the ship. Okay, so we finished mining all three rocks. And now if you press I on your keyboard, it's going to bring up your inventory, and it'll tell you at what capacity and what you have in your backpack, in your rucksack core, or on your person, really. Because uh, sometimes, like, even if you don't have the rucksack core, you still have a little bit of storage in your in your armor as well. So uh, those three rocks gave us 25% capacity, which is actually quite high. Um, you'll notice that when you start mining and you scan the material or the rock or the node or whatever you want to call it, is that it'll give you kind of like a, a weight, and it's telling you what the size of the node is. So that last one I, I, I uh, scanned was 0 0.10 kilograms. So a decent-sized rock. There's definitely, they vary, right? There's smaller rocks if you run into a bunch of... If you run into groupings of large amounts of, of nodes, usually they're a little bit smaller with a couple bigger ones mixed in, but it's all kind of random at the end of the day. Um, okay, so now that we're here back at our ship, let's go enter ship. It's okay to enter, obviously, manually. And then the door will close automatically. Uh, hold R to put away your current um, weapon. Or tool you have out. The reason why I like to do that before I get in the pilot seat is sometimes when you get into the pilot seat and you go to bring up your scanner or your personal inventory or anything from your Moby Glass, it won't work because you previously had a weapon out. So I like to put away the weapon first before I get in the pilot seat and then that way you just kind of avoid that issue altogether. So now we're back in our prospector. Let's get back up in the air and go scan for more rocks. So let's lift up our landing gear. Now, we remember we, when we pulled in here, there was a, a rock on the other side of this hill here. 
So let's go check that out. We'll bring up our scanner, press tab. Scan it. And there it is. Okay, so let's go check it out and see what that is. It's even further on the other side of this hill. Sometimes the scanner doesn't... Oh, okay. So, um, that block that it was giving us before was giving us uh, a more long distance scan. And that'll happen sometimes where you go to scan and it'll bring up like a big square blue grid. Um, that's just telling you that there's a mineral there. It doesn't tell you exactly if it's a mineable by hand or a ship mineable. Um, but this is really good. This is lucky we, we found more. This is a huge amount of, of, of rocks here. So let's go back to our mining mode, press M, and then scan these and see what they are. Okay, so these are all Hadonite again. So we lucked out. We found another big pile of Hadonite. So let's drop our landing gear. Aim towards, straight towards our rocks that we want. And land. All right, so I'm going to get out of the ship and I'm going to go mine all of these nodes. And hopefully we fill up our backpack and I can show you how to make a box and place it in the ship. It's really, really a great way to continue on your mission of mining by uh, creating an inventory box and basically unloading your backpack. So I'll mine these real quick and then we'll create a box and I'll show you what that's like. And there we go. So you could see how that rock we got, we almost got finished that rock and for some reason it just exploded and injured us. So it's it's a safe bet to say that if a rock explodes, you're going to have to be searching for quite a while to find all the pieces. But luckily I had my med pen equipped. So as soon as I saw that it was in, I was injured, I just pressed C on my keyboard and I just healed right back up to full health. Now, luckily I still have my multi-tool as well, and I can see a few pieces lying around that exploded from that rock. So it wasn't a complete waste, but sometimes you never find them again. So um, I'm just going to pick up these pieces that were left behind and uh, not even bother looking for the other ones. Because they usually explode and go quite far. Here's another one pretty close, but generally speaking, they, they pretty much go flying everywhere. And it takes a while to uh, locate all of them so um, yeah it looks like that's all I'm gonna find out of that one so I'm healed up let's uh, continue on we're at 65% um, uh, full on our backpack so we'll be pretty close to 100% when we're done with these three rocks another thing you may have noticed is uh, I started to get into the red on that rock. So instead of actually scrolling down to reduce power on the gun, what I did instead was I just looked away from the rock. And that's actually the quickest and safest way. You just look away from the rock really quick, kind of like this, right? You just When it starts to get in the red, you look away. And then you can reduce your power on your gun and then go back to mining the rock. And that's that's actually better than um, just trying to slow down. Because it only takes, if you're in the red for just even a few seconds, it'll explode and potentially kill you. In which case, you've lost all of your rocks that you mine. So the best way is just look away. <laughs> and uh, we'll continue on here and we'll, uh, we'll get fixed up. All right. Let's continue. Also, you'll notice that when I start mining, I actually kind of keep my gun off to the side. Um, the reason I do that is so that I can actually see better. Like, I can see much clearer the green zone and the red zone when I mine the left side of the rock. So I'd recommend doing that as well, just so it's easier to see the uh, the marker on the left uh, left-hand side there. Okay, so we finished mining all those nodes, uh, almost dying at one point, but we managed to do it. So what I'm going to do real quick before I actually get back in my ship is I'm just going to uh, re-equip one med pen just to make sure that, you know, you don't run into the issue where um, <laughs> you run out and accidentally don't have one equipped. So whenever I use a med pen, I always equip another one just to be on the safe side. Okay, so now let's go on our ship. Our inventory is at 90% capacity. So, and it's all Hadonite, which is really nice. I think we lucked out, to be honest. But what we're going to do is we're going to go into our ship, and just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to make a box now, even though I don't have a uh, capacity of 100%. So when you're in your ship, first things first, just put away your gun. Hold R. Kind of just go back to the back of your ship here. Press I, and there's these two, uh, two options here. So you've got drop item or store all. You want to store all. Put it in a box, right? Now, oh, shoot. You know what I'm going to do? Um, 
I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look towards the wall when I do this just so that you can read it. Oh, you can't read it anyways. This says OK or cancel. OK is on the left-hand side. Cancel is on the right. This will store all your inventory in a cargo box. Yes. So you click OK. And it made a little box. So one thing I've noticed and that what people have told me is that um, you click or when you make the box, don't just leave it there. And pick it up first. And then kind of place it at the back of your ship. The 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 motion of picking it up and then replacing it kind of like solidifies that it's in your ship, that you've placed the box in your ship. Sometimes if you don't do that and you go to sell, uh, the merchant that's purchasing the product that you mined doesn't detect that the box is in there. So I just pick it up, place it, and then you know that you're safe and good to go. So uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my inventory. And you'll see that now we have no capacity. We've transferred everything from our rucksack into that box right there that's on the floor. So now we can uh, hop back into our pilot seat and go scanning for more uh, minerals. So we've got another one here, another hand mineral. So uh, let's bring out our mining tool or the mining attachment on our ship here and scan these. More hadonite. Okay. And there's only a few of them. So let's reland. I'm going to mine these two and then we'll go sell and I'll show you where we can sell and why we sell it there. Okay. We finished mining those two rocks. Let's put away our multi tool. Enter. Let's see how full our pack is just from those two rocks. I'm curious. 15%. Okay. That's not bad. So let's uh, hop back into our pilot seat and head over to Leverage, the uh, mineral reserve. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our star map. We're going to double click on Lyria, zoom out a little. Now we're, we know we're right around Loveridge because that's where we quantum to. Yeah, we're, we're pretty close. So we're, we're going to click Loveridge, set a route. Now obviously we can't quantum there, but it'll give us direction on where we need to travel across the planet, or across the moon, sorry. So we're going to pick up some speed here and just head on over to Loveridge. Now keep in mind, you don't have to stop there. You don't only have to, I mean, you could if you want to, but you, you can do both types of mining. You can do hand mining. You could also do ship mining and sell all of it here. But just for the sakes of time, uh, I'm just going to go and uh, sell off what we've made so far. Just see how far we got as far as profits are concerned in comparison to how much it cost us to actually just rent the prospector. <clears throat> okay, so this is Loveridge. This is the mineral reserve. And uh, if you push... T to bring up your lights, you can see that there isn't really a lot of space to land in there. So we're just going to land on the outskirts right about here. Okay, and th this is a location on uh, the moon Lyria, right? So there's a potential for players to just show up out of the blue to maybe just like do a, a delivery mission drop off or anything like that. So I would suggest just closing the ladder before you go in just to make sure that you don't have a surprise visitor hop in your ship and take off before you have a chance to sell. Here's our terminal here. So we're going to click it, go sell. So this is our personal inventory. So this is what's in our, in our backpack right now, just on us. So we got 5K AUEC just from those two nodes. It's pretty good. So we'll sell that. The prospector, even though it shows empty, we have that box in there. So the SCU uh, for the prospector is showing zero because we didn't actually do any mining with the ship. We just placed a box in the ship. So even if you still select your ship prospector, it should bring up whatever containers you have inside the ship. And so there we've got 30K almost. So I think between that one box and what we had from those two rocks, which took barely any time at all, we've already made up about 85% of what it cost to rent the ship in the first place. So that's pretty good, pretty good profit. That one box was only 90% full, and it's like 30k AUEC. That's really good profit in my opinion. Now, the other rock that you can mine here is uh, Aphorite. And Aphorite doesn't sell for quite as much as Hadonite. Hadonite is the, is the one that you want to look for. But if you're having a hard time finding uh, Hadonite, just go for the Aphorite and mine it anyways. Because at the end of the day, it's still making you money. Now, you can make pretty good profit with the prospector this is a nice quiet place to do mining i really enjoy it here rather than caves um and you can just keep making boxes like you can place that box in your ship go back out fill up your backpack make another box you can stack them on top of each other so if you spent enough time uh moonside here and then came over to sell i there's no doubt in my mind that you could be pulling in like 100k 150k um by selling out your entire prospector and selling it at this terminal 
So that, in my opinion, is a really good, really fun way to do mining by hand as well as with the ship. I know I didn't get to mine with the ship, but just for time purposes, I just wanted to like, you know, keep it simple. But um, nice thing about that prospector is you can scan for those hand mineables. You don't have to go to the cave. You don't have to risk running into players. You don't have to risk uh, dying by trying to climb up the walls or losing rocks because the the uh, rock is clipping into into the walls or something. This is much safer, much more enjoyable. You can come here with a few friends. They can all pile into your prospector. You can each mine a few rocks. And it's just a good time overall. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. I really like mining. I actually used to own a prospector, and I traded it in and worked my way up to the cat, but um, I still really love that ship. You know, I love to keep a rental on at all times just because it's just a, a, a nice change of pace from the usual deliveries or FPS missions. But uh, that's it. Uh, if you enjoyed it or if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Remember to hit like. If you haven't subbed to the channel, it would be of great help if you could do that. Thanks so much, guys, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Cheers.